Hi, I'm Matt LeClear with YourAdSquad.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add three different views to your Google Analytics account. There's lots of different reasons why you want to do this, but the main reason is if you make a mistake on your analytics account, you can totally wipe out all the data that it's been collecting. And since that information is so valuable to your business, it's important that you make, put safeguards in place so that doesn't happen. So log into your analytics. Uh, hit admin and go all the way to the right under view and click add new view. The very first view I recommend you make is a test view. And this is a view that you'll use whenever you want to make any changes to your analytics and add filters or whatever. You first do it on the test view in case you make a mistake and uh, wipe out data it's better to do it on the test view than on your master view. So go ahead and make the test view first. Click website there, put in test view, put in your time zone, and then uh, click the blue create view button right here. There, we just created a test view. Now, to make the other two views, we're going to do it the same way. Look, hit create new view. Now this view we're going to call the unfiltered master list and this is going to be like a backup tape this is going to be where all the information saved in case you mess up any of the other views you're going to have this view right here waiting for you with all your data in place so it's important that you make that as well too because google doesn't create google only gives you one view a uh, default view and if you mess that up you're going to mess all the data up that's why it's important to create these three views so create the test view like you did. Now create the unfiltered master view the very same way. Put it, make sure your right time zone is correct. Now what you want to do is create one more. And this is going to be the main view that you use anytime you log in to check your stats and to see how much traffic you're getting. Call this one the filtered master. Because once you test a filter on the test and you see that it doesn't it doesn't affect any of the data in a, in a negative way, then you can move that filter over to this filtered master. And uh, put a little note for yourself like use this view. That way you know whenever you go in and you're checking your stats and you're doing whatever, you're checking it with this view. And that's uh, pretty easy to set up. And it's so important that you get these three views set up because otherwise you could end up making a catastrophic mistake that just totally robs your business of data that it could use to, uh, to, to, to produce revenue for yourself. That's that's how you set up the views, and it's it's pretty easy to do. Uh, take, it'll take you less than five minutes to set up. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You know what? That's my video. I want to thank you. I'm Matt LeClear uh, from YourAdSquad.com. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, talk to you soon.